get into this hair. Like, I'm not even gonna hold y'all right now. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm a little bright today, but because the sun is shining in here, but can we get in on my skin real quick? Can we see this? Now I've been taking care of this for a while now. Um, and it's showing up, okay? It's like, listen, listen honey. This video is gonna be great. Drum roll, please. Okay, so you just press and you just lift it off of your head. I love this thing. After you're done, it's like a little hot. All right, sorry. So then I just go, see I just like shook my head and it falls. The crazy thing about it is I told my boyfriend yesterday that I wanted to cut my hair and he was like no don't do it like I wanted to cut it into a bob and I'm so glad I didn't like I love it like it's so cute I can do anything with this hair like I feel like I can just go outside and just like call birds oh, oh. I've been here two months I cut bangs about a month ago and that's why my hair looks like like that and it's trying to grow back like at one point in the front of my hair this length was actually this length like it was down here and now i'm trying to grow back so it's like i have like fake bangs and i don't hate them i like how my hair falls but so in this video as you saw in the caption um this video is all about maintaining styling and maintaining your silk press it's super easy to maintain you just have to follow the right processes and the right steps and i promise you your silk press will be nice and silky nice and silky but you have to make sure you do the right thing so the first thing that i do um i deep condition my hair a lot um already but recently i found this new shampoo i didn't find it like it was never here it's always been in the store i just never actually used it garnier fruitiste and i use a shampoo and a conditioner and i condition my hair for about an hour and i let my hair get all nice and saturated once i rinse it out i go ahead and i start with the wash I condition the second time, but I don't leave it in as long. I leave it in like while I'm in the shower. So I can put this in my hair and I like to wash the rest of my body up. Boom, boom, boom. Take this um, white girl brush, that's what I call it, but the correct terminology is a uh, wig brush. Comb the conditioner through my hair from root to finish. Um, I make sure that I'm not pulling my hair. If my hair is a little tangled, I comb the ends first and then I work my way up to the top of my hair. I comb all of it through. Then once I'll comb my conditioner through my hair and like feeling good i rinse it out i leave it a little bit in there i rinse all of it out but i rinse like majority of it out like i leave a little bit of it in there once i'm done detangling my hair um i go ahead and i put a little bit of this oil all this is in here is just a little bit i need to put more in here as you can see but i put um olive oil and i want to say castor oil it's castor oil i spray some of my hands and i just run my fingers through my hair um i don't put too much oil because you don't want your hair to be all oily then i go in with my blow dryer Mine is from Revlon. I got it from like Target or no Walmart for like it was a bundle deal. I got this and a matching flat iron for like thirty dollars. I like uh, Remington a lot. I go and I blow dry my hair and I take this white girl brush and I comb through my hair. But usually, if you don't want to use use all your arm power because it's still straight in your hair, I use a comb. Usually, I can't find it right now, but I put a comb on here. It attaches as a nozzle to the front of it. And then I just like blow dry my hair. And I usually hold it so I'm like going from root to tip, root to end, root to end, root to end, root to end. And I usually blow dry it down so it's already getting in preparation to be straightened. You want it so hot. I usually put this blow dryer on one like the hottest level. It doesn't say the degrees, but it gets really hot. So you want to move quickly, but you also don't want to burn yourself. So you want to tilt your head and kind of like blow dry 
on an angle if you're doing it yourself um and just get your hair to tangle from the root all the way to the end once your hair is like really really fluffy like to the point where it's so fluffy that it's laying down and you basically don't even have to straighten it comb through it again with this brush make sure all my tangles are out make sure that my roots are not too fluffy you want your hair to be fluffy but you don't want your roots to be really really like thick so i part my hair in the middle and i go in and i redefine my part I go in and i get my flat iron and i love this flat iron this is also from remington that's why i like this one because it comes with a nice little stand and you can put it wherever you want to put it then you're going to flat iron it to the point where it's so straight i take my comb usually but i take my hair and i put it between the two plates take my comb and i comb down but you gotta be very careful I take my flat iron and follow the comb down my hair slowly so i'm combing my hair as i am flat ironing so i'm getting that bone straight effect once i do that if you're going to clip your ends, you can clip them then or you can clip them while your hair is blow dried that's your choice i choose to do it while it's blow dried these can be used for lots of things. I like to section my hair off and I clip my hair up, take my flat iron, and then I start to bend. I curl it the way I want to curl my hair. So I put this silk paper, which is this plastic wrap, um, Kroger. You can get it from Walmart. You can get it from anywhere. Take my big rake comb, which is very important. You need a rake comb. This rake comb comes in handy because you can take your hair and not comb the curls out. So you're combing your hair into a nice circle of motion, combing it around. So you're holding your hair. And you're taking this plastic and you're going to swing it. That's what I do. I swing it on my head. Then I hurry and I grab my hair and flatten it. Hold this piece down. And then I wrap it, stretch it, wrap it, stretch it, wrap it really tight around my hair. Once it's around my head, then you get a formation and it sticks. So you don't need anything else but paper. But these clips come in handy too. Go to your local beauty supply and get you a portable, transferable, carryable, Profitable, workable, importable, handy dandy blow dryer. So you take it and you put it on your head. This has a stretchy part inside of, inside of it. You take it and you put it on it and it stays on there. Anyway, so this is what it does. It gets really hot Ooh, and it blows away. So don't put it on really high heat. I suggest you put it on like a medium, not blown away. I also suggest while it's on your head, I'm turn this off because I can't hear it myself. What I also suggest is that you want that blow dry on your head for at least five minutes. It's hot. Okay, it's very, very hot. So you want to take this button, let it get hot, press it. Let it get hot for 10 seconds. Press it for 10 seconds. Let it get hot for five seconds. Press it for five seconds. Also important that when you have this on your head to connect to this blow dryer, if you turn the heat up really, really high, it's gonna blow this thing off your head. So I suggest you to actually turn it down to a medium speed. That's why you couldn't can hear me because the blow dryer was up so loud. Okay. And that's what you do. So your head's not on fire. Okay? It hurts. When you have your hair ready to wrap it up, I like I would suggest always using a nice silk scarf. Silk scarves always get you where you need to be. It's silk. I love the fact that it's silk. You know, what why wouldn't you want to put a silk scarf on your head? I mean, I also have a bonnet, but a bonnet was gonna make my hair move around. I like my hair to stay flat. Um I make sure that I comb my hair very, very tightly and that um it's going in the, in the desired, you know, direction and all that. The tighter your wrap, the better your doobie. Or if they say doobie. The tighter your wrap the better it's gonna be. I don't sweat I don't sweat with silk and um in this next part of the video I'm gonna show you guys how I style my hair once I take it out of my silk wrap. Alright guys so after you um comb your hair out and you have it in your desired look that you want to wear it in I want to put a little gel on my edges because my edges are a little crusty when doing your edges you don't want too much grease in your hair you don't want too much product in your hair like i said my hair whenever it gets a little bit of grease a little bit of sweat a little bit of anything a little bit of oil on it it starts to get crusty so my suggestion is to take your brush preferably a white girl brush or a white tooth comb i take my handy dandy little clips my grandma clips and i clip along my hair i scoop the gel I like my 
it is to be laid cool night wind blows i want it to look nice from the root <laughs> all the way down to the tip okay that part it's like a little mohawk oh this is a cute little style what i think all right y'all so i hope you guys like the video um this is the finished product of course my hair is not down the way you guys want to see it but I like it like this and I'm letting my edges dry anyway. With that being said, I hope this video was helpful. I hope I gave you some guys some good tips on how to take care of your hair. It's easy, you can do it at home and it gives you a way to give your hair that nice, healthy look without having to pay so much at the hair salon. I'm a person where I stick to home. I'm not going to the hair salon because I am cheap and I don't like people in my hair. I do my own hair by watching YouTube and just, you know, following the right processes and getting my healthy trims um, and not putting too much heat on my hair. Like, all I really put on my hair was just conditioner, and it's, like, super, super shiny. Like, that's all I put in my hair was conditioner. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, comment, do all of that. Make sure you share my videos. Tell the world about a tip it in a toddler. Give me a thumbs up, comment, give me some suggestions. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what I'm doing right. I love all of your feedback. And I love you guys as always, and I hope you guys enjoy this holiday season because it's almost Christmas. Three good months left, but I don't care. I love this time of the year. And you know I'm wearing a hoodie? Like, this is a hoodie sweater. It's like the end of September, and I had this on. And I'm in Georgia. Like, come on. I know I'm hot. Sweating. But anyway. No makeup. I see you on the flip side. But yeah, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, we have issues because I keep telling y'all every time I get on this channel and I tell y'all to subscribe and y'all don't subscribe or you don't like or you don't tell your mom and your grandma about my channel, I get upset, okay? I get upset and let people know about my channel. If you like, if you enjoy my channel, why won't you let somebody else enjoy it too? A shout out, you know, anything of the sort, I would love, okay? If you don't subscribe, I'm gonna pull up. If you don't subscribe, I'm coming with them goons. If you don't subscribe, you're gonna miss out. If you don't subscribe, we got issues. If you don't subscribe, 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 I'm gonna pull up. If you don't subscribe, believe me, we got issues. Hey guys, it's me. I just wanted you guys to get a close up on how silky my hair is again because, yeah, it's nighttime now and it's still silky. <laughs>